Alright everybody, welcome back. It is your pal Al, and we are continuing on with Atomic Heart, and this is video 18 Access in the granted. series. Let's see, I think I got a bunch of these, yeah, Nuri Polymers I gotta use. I would love to add a bunch more of these uh, power cells, but every time I do that, the game breaks, and it won't work. They're like, basically I add the power cells, but they never actually feel full like they, they don't work so I'm gonna just stick with what works I guess and this seems to work pretty well yeah let's do that reduce the cooldown telekinesis hmm what, what's this just curious what this is oh here you got all that Increases running speed. Um, shock. Let's see about this bad mamma jamma. So shock cooldown. Sure. There we go. How am I doing over here? Yeah, we're Gucci. We're good to go. I forget. It's been like a day since I've played what's going on even. Wait, hold on. What is over here? Wait, we were just out here, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to go find... I forgot. We need to go around this way. Oh, yeah. This lady uh, was the one who th thought she was like omnipotent like you know the uh, all-seeing being but really she was just had an overload of that polymer okay what's going Charles, on here so after the whole beta connector idea was dead they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority i'm afraid so the power struggle in the kremlin will never end the party elite insisted on having power even within collective well they're our government right we're the ussr indeed we are but Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. Huh, interesting. It's this guy. Oh, this is one comrade. of those. Hey, comrade. Yeah, no, kids. Get out of here. I'm a student from the tour. My father's like really, really important. Oh my god. I hate him already. Congratulations. Except it doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Do you even know who he is? He'll build you a country house, mm? send you on a vacation, <laughs> or maybe you want a car. Come on, man, just get me out of here. Whoever your old man is, his son is dead. What? What do you fucking mean, dead? How am I talking to you, then? Are you an idiot? You oh, are the working class, so work, damn you! Do you even know who I am? No, I don't, and I don't care. We're not buddies. Get that through your thick skull, and the working class can punch back, you spineless piece of... Meat? What? Uh, am I really? Shit. And yes, you are. I'll pass it along to your tour guide. Ah, oh, no. I don't like that kid, but... That stinks that he's dead. This guy looks like he... I don't trust him at all. You know, normally, when these guys are involved, I'm gonna grab something and I'm gonna get jumped. Oh, right here. What do you wanna bet? Oh, yep. Oh. Jeez. 
talk about. Wow. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Ice, ice. Yeah. Pop one of these babies in. I, uh, I was kind of expecting, you know, him to get hostile when I picked that up. But I wasn't expecting... I was expecting him to get a little hostile, you know, when I picked that up. But I wasn't expecting all the other ones just to pop out of nowhere. I love how there's just, like, random cartoons constantly playing, and that's, like, all that's playing. Especially in this, like, extremely hostile world. You know? Except that's, like, all there is. Hmm, interesting. Why do those things only get hostile when you grab certain things? Like, I knew it was coming. Higher and higher, legends will never die. This remains true even for agricultural crops. The specimens of purposely bred plants presented here are capable of surviving in any environment, even on the surface of other planets. Okay, so now we go back this way, I'm assuming. Yeah, that was kind of nuts. Is this the last item? And then I can get through that door? I think it might be. She's dead. Even her polymer, I think, is done. Hmm. Here we go. This ought to make some racket. No. Really? Nothing's coming to get me, huh? That's not at all what I expected. I expected... I expected at least a couple things to try and kill me. Huh. Wow. Alright, well... I can hear my dogs freaking out upstairs. Not exactly sure why, but... Wait a minute. Where did this... Is this how we got in here? I don't know, I don't remember that being open before. Ah, I don't know, maybe it was. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Wait. Oh, she's missing both her arms? Oh, I thought she was only missing one. She, Yeah, she is. Ah, still got a couple body parts to go. I missed. Oh, well. There, there, yeah, whatever we come across first. We found two of the children that the tour guide was worried about. I'm sure that's a side quest, so if we can, oh, this is probably where we come out. If we can find uh, all four of them, hopefully we get, you know, New something. scanning cycle, Good module, habit. limb, arm, left, found. Location Pavlo floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No, this is terrible. It plunged into something warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting. What is it? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. Yeah, well, I missed all that because I was shooting those things, but she basically confirmed, I think, that the uh, the arm 
was here, but she said it was stuck in something. I don't know, like some polymer or something sticky. I don't know. I only caught a portion of it. So. No. Here we Authorization. Go. Major Nichayev. Just want to see how much neuropolymer I picked up. 40. Not too shabby. Alright. Let's see. Let's put that over there. We got one, two, three, four. Got some shotgun shells. Yeah, put one of those over there. Put one of those over there. One, two, three, four. Actually, if we're going to go up against the organics, um, I'll probably take these out and put these in. Man, I got a lot of stuff. At some point, I'm going to have to start, like, you know, disassembling stuff. I mean, I really don't want to, but... Ah... I don't know. Let's look at some upgrades real quick. Handle. I don't need it to reduce. I mean, that reduces recoil, but that's all the way full. This uh, makes it so I switch cartridges quicker, but the one I really want is this one, which increases the duration of it, and I can't have that. Reduces reload speed. Don't care. Yeah, so my shotgun. I gotta remember that. Shotgun's good to go right now, except for the cartridges. Accelerate cartridge slash setup. Yeah, that's polymeric feeder. Extends the magazine. Do I want more in the magazine? Hmm. I don't know, guys. So, this increases the stun duration. I feel like that'd be a good upgrade. You know what? Let's see if I can upgrade anything on this guy. Increases energy bonus. Huh. Uh, accumulates energy faster when health is full. Da, da, da. I don't know. It accumulates energy faster when health is full. When at full health, the adapter uses a marker from the active biofield to accumulate twice as much energy. Sure. I don't know. We'll see. You know? Um. Man, I just feel like I should start like taking some of this apart, but then I'm like, I don't know. What, what, I mean. I really like all my stuff. <laughs> I don't know, we'll wait for right now. Except for on this, I have a feeling this is 100% full. I'll try and change this guy out to the fire one. And same thing with uh, this one, I think. Yeah, no, stop. Um, sh let's try ice. Why not? At least now we got, you know. And this thing, I can actually... I love that you can use cartridges in this guy as well. But should we do it? Should we just, like... Here, let's do it. What do we got? This thing's almost gone. Anyways, let's put a little, a little heat in there. There we go. A little juice in our goose. Fading data. There we go. And actually, I think. I think this is going to be a lot more. What do you want, robot? Don't make me do it. 
Access says. granted. Why would why would this be like right out here when I guess I don't understand why this is like right out here when we literally wait, hold on. Yeah, why is this out here? We literally just Carly, what a mess. Footprints everywhere. You know that thing is getting hostile. Oh my god, look at all of them. Yeah, I don't know why this thing's here, but whatever. I'm gonna play around my melee weapon a little bit. Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. Let's see, uh... Wow, that was easy. Hold on. Pick up a chirper, maybe it'll give us a clue about what's... Oh my god. What is that thing? So, I just woke up and I had a brilliant idea for an exhibit. Well, it's not really an exhibit. It's more like an experience. Anyway, here it is. Visitors walk into a dark room, grab a chirper, put on headphones, and hear something like... Uh, read this, Tereskova. Imagine you're in a beautiful green field surrounded by an endless forest that stretches from one horizon to the other. You hear a brook burbling nearby, birds singing, and puppies. Lots of puppies. End recording. So, while a woman's voice is describing this landscape, some patellas create a holographic image of it all around them. What's the point, you ask? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't know yet, but it's an awesome idea. I'll just have to explain why I woke up next to that Tereshkova. I am the perfect woman. I am present. I am at peace. A flowing stream, an endless forest, a forever blue sky. In touch with my inner goddess. Ah, turn it off! Turn it off! Oh my gosh. Here we go. Make yourself comfortable. Would you like to hear about whales? Uh. Thanks, but I'd better go. Make yourself comfortable. Now, there's probably some good information there, but I just, you know. This whale's life was transferred into a polymer vessel thanks to the brilliance of Soviet scientists. Polymer mimetic adaptation owes its existence to these amazing animals. Nowadays, polymers are made to adapt inside the human body without Please treatment select the desired procedure. and even replace damaged organs. Research is still far from complete, but one thing is certain. This polymer whale is the first step towards the prolongation of human life. Thank you, Dea. Thanks to the talent of Soviet scientists. Still, this is a marvelous exhibit. May I ask you something, Major? If you could live on in another form after death, would you? Ooh, I feel like that's, um, foreshadowing. Nope, I like the form of God, thanks. I don't feel like swimming around in a pool of goo. Why not? Sounds better than having a life. Um... Damn. I don't know. Only under really extreme circumstances. Like, if my legs got ripped off or something. But all in all, does the idea of polymer immortality seem acceptable to you? Uh, wow. Nope, if we don't get fresh blood or generation, we'll never have any progress. It's a tough call. The elites would be the ones who'd end up immortal while ordinary folks would just stay ordinary. That's a tough call. The elites would be the ones who end up immortal while ordinary folks would stay... ordinary. You're not exactly an optimist, are you, Major? Not anymore. Here's an interesting fact. This whale was obtained by Mikhail Stockhausen, who piloted a whaling vessel for an entire week. I really couldn't care less, Charles. I feel like that question was a loaded question. Vulnerabilities. Okay. It's like, wait. What are these called? Phlyxes? 
Flechies are resistant to gunfire. Use melee weapons against them. Scan your enemies to find out their resistances and vulnerabilities. Oh no. So you're telling me this thing that we're getting ready to fight, I can't use guns on? Which also means... So, what will it be, Major? Okay. Well, if that's the case, then yeah, hold on. We really need to... Upgrade a few things. Hmm. Man. Alright, hold on. What do you guys think? I'll disassemble those. Disassemble those. Disassemble those. Disassemble those. I just got like so much crap. It's not that I don't like it, because I do, but. What are these adrenal capsules like? I don't know, I'm not. I don't really use much of this stuff, otherwise. What is happening here? There we go. I still feel like I got way too much health. So these things, I get like one of those at least. I'll disassemble this. Nope, nope. This guy. This guy. I just don't want to dissemble all my freaking ammo. Come on. St st yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I really should. If I tore all that down, I would have so much stuff. But if I have to use a melee weapon against this thing, I really should upgrade stuff as much as I can. Man. I can't really upgrade... I, those circle things are the things that like I'm I have trouble I'm gonna have trouble with. Hmm. Here, hold on. I should really save it before I. Oh, it's not letting me scan it. All right, hold on. Save. Data. All right, here we go. So I can at least, I, I believe I can at least use my like telekinesis and shock on it. I'm hoping. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called Pliush or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped-off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh, I freaked out and hit the wrong button. Oh, I'm like, what do I do? Where are you?
God. I even dodged at the right time. I'm like barely hurting this thing. almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Oh my god. That was a nightmare. Hold on. Jeez. Alright, well, I'm definitely going to... What does this do? Restores health and increase dodge for our short rate. I should have probably used one of those. Yeah, that was a nightmare because um, I didn't do hardly any damage against it. I needed something faster. Wow. Yeah, not, Have not good. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Oh my gosh, Speaking is that... of weird shit. Isn't... wasn't that the guy on the train? Yeah, I think that was the guy on the train. He keeps talking to me, and I'm like, who are you? Ooh, reduces shock cooldown. Absolutely. Yeah, I like my shock. Okay. Man, I don't know. I don't like... Um, I don't like... Uh, I don't like having all this extra stuff, but like... What are you gonna do, you know? I got two frost, two fire. And that, I got plenty of shotgun shells. I got a lot of ammo, but you know, maybe I should like get rid of some of it. <sighs> what do you? I don't know. I'll get rid of some of it. I feel like I've got too much almost. There. There. I got rid of a bunch of it. So, besides, I feel more comfortable when I have a lot of health and ammo stacked up, you know? Um, and now that I can actually use these again... Did I save it back there? Wait, did I save it? I should save it, because I have an idea that this next part... Yeah, you know what's gonna happen. This next part is all. Yeah, it's all these robots. Hold on. Yeah. There's that. And with this. Mm hmm. We'll do that. And with this. We will just do... What should I do? Fire? Eh, why not? Let's set some stuff on fire. 
Okay. Whoa! Hey! Why isn't anybody working? Gotcha. Tell the tour guide I found one of her people. Looks like a med student. Don't swim in the polymer. I've heard that junior technical employees have been flooding newly built spaces with polymer during construction, swimming in it like a water slide. I get it, it's fun. I've even done it myself a few times, but it's not safe. One, it's not safe. Two, it's ridiculous. Also, the polymer stays in partitions between rooms, which can damage the drywall and cladding. Anyone who gets caught swimming in it will lose their polymerization bonus. This is your last warning. Hmm. As of today, special cards will be given out to the technical specialists in order to limit their Nora repair vendors at the VDNH. It has come to my attention that certain employees have been creating various devices for personal use while pretending they are for work purposes. Remember, Nora's components are not community property. <laughs> Stop that doll, Flatlana. I understand that your toys aren't really for young children, but it'd be a shame to throw them away. And I feel a little weird about keeping them myself. Anyway, they found a puppy by the facility gate two weeks ago with that doll in its mouth. Maybe it got lost, or maybe it was just abandoned. It seemed like a my dog. Major. But it wouldn't give up the doll. It just kept carrying it around in its mouth. We thought about using it as a guard dog, but it was just too nasty. Anyway, we ended up giving it to Pavlov. They love dogs there, and they won't hurt it. But I didn't know what to do with the doll, so I thought I might give it to your museum. I just feel too sad looking at it. All right, I feel like we got what we need over here. Interesting. I felt like that fight was supposed to be a lot longer, but I've, I've almost completely upgraded my uh, telekinesis and I just picked everybody up and slammed them on the ground. Which I will, I will be honest, um, like I said, a lot of people make the mistake of like trying to get a whole bunch of stuff unlocked and like upgrading a whole bunch of stuff, like just a little bit. I think you're way better off, instead of upgrading a whole bunch of stuff like a tiny bit, picking a few things and upgrading the crap out of them, which is what I've done with my guns and abilities. I do it in a lot of games. And yeah, it usually tends to fare better. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Okay. Now we got one more. So far this game is a lot of fun. They've done a really good job with it. <laughs> Seashells mustache on a seashore. Oh, wrong one. 
locate and bring back Claire's parts. Still working on that. I think the only thing left is her head. Because we've gotten her leg, both her arms. So we found her torso, which was number one. So we found her torso. After that, we found her leg. Then we found both her arms in different spots. And now we're going after her head. Which Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Chelame floor. Structural integrity compromised. Excessive pressure detected. Excellent. Ping! It's crushing her! It's like they dropped a whole building on top of her! Oh, Major, it's just too cruel! It's unbearable! Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Oh no. We'll just start out with this. Shit, it's dark here. Ah. I think we got it. Yeah, I think we got him. Hold on. Oh man, there's a lot around here. And he was right, it is really dark in here. I think we got most everything we're gonna get out of here. Here we go. I do not like the sound of that. Hold on. One second. I just realized. Oh no. Where is it? Where's my chirpers? I thought we had. She almost got away. Now hold on. Where was it at? Was this it this is an one? Emergency login. No. Which one was it? No, I think that might have been it. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? <sighs> they found me. Stay away. I've got a grenade. Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. I thought we had picked up a chirper earlier. That must not have been it, obviously, because that's the, like, very first one. Hold on. Ooh, that's a new one. Coyote in space, or whatever that thing is, a wolf. Oh, that's it. Please they, select the desired procedure. Have you guys noticed? There's like so many of these things just like chilling around here. I wish they, I wish I could like move these all around, you know? But you can't. It basically just like auto sorts them for you. Which, whatever. Let's see. Yep, got a lot of. See, I'd like to get rid of these, but then at the same time. 
eventually what I want to do is I do want to craft one of these. I'd love to craft... Uh, I don't know. I'd like love to craft some of these others, but... Should I... Yeah. Might just do that when we come back. So, I don't know. Let's save it real quick. Fading data. Alright, I think this one actually... Let's go ahead and end this game here. Uh, your pal Al, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.